Okay, for this example, we're going to publish a fairly basic white pages style telephone directory. So we've got about uh, 12, nearly 13,000 entries in our database here. Uh, we've got basic information, the name, the telephone number, obviously, the address information. And notice this, we've got the listing style option. So by default, each entry is a plain listing, but they can pay to have either a bold or a red bold entry. And if, they're, if it's bold they've paid for, then they get their name in bold. If they've paid for red bold, then they get their name in red and bold, and also their address and telephone number lines in red as well. We'll see how that works in a minute. So we've set up a publishing style sheet. Now the publishing style sheet is what tells Catbase what data you want to publish, how you want it all sorted and formatted, and that kind of thing. So for example, we've got uh, in our first paragraph, we're going to have the name. And we've got a couple of rules here. So our first rule is if the listing style is bold, then we are going to use a different style sheet for that paragraph. And on the other hand, if the listing style is red bold, then we're going to again use a different style sheet for the paragraph. So you build up your publication by creating paragraphs with the information that you want to publish. So once we've got our data ready to go and we've set up our publishing style sheet, we're now ready to publish the data. So I'm going to view my list of entries and I'm just going to publish the whole lot in one go. So I'll say publish all the data. This is our publishing style sheet we were looking at and we're going to publish to InDesign, so we'll say OK, and let's call this um, directory text one. OK, so now Catbase is creating a text file that's got all the information that we want to publish, all the uh, listing information, the names, the addresses, and the phone numbers, and all that, plus the information that it's going to tell InDesign how we want each piece of information formatted. In other words, which style sheet to apply to each paragraph within the listing. There we go, that's finished. So let's now do the fun bit. We'll switch to InDesign and just import that file that we just published. So now InDesign is importing all the data, uh, applying the style sheets as required, setting up the headers, and formatting everything for us. And in just a moment, we'll see the result. Here we go. So you can see we've got our headers set up. That's the first entry on the page, the last entry on the page. This is a plain listing. This is a bold one, and this is a red bold one. Whoops. That's it. You can see we've got, let's see how many pages. Um, we've created in the space of a couple of minutes, 136 page directory.